Hello everyone, Jennifer here. In a hurry, but need just a little bit of makeup? Well then this tutorial is going to be perfect for you. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I get this everyday look. So here we go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do to get started with this tutorial is take off my glasses. So I will be partially blind for most of this. So here we go, ah, blindness. What I will do is clean my face first with my rose petal witch hazel alcohol free toner um, it's actually organic all that good stuff and it doesn't smell like your traditional witch hazel which is nice because personally I find that it smells like tequila and that's not my favorite smell in the world then I'm gonna put some stuff for my eyes this is my Amera organics total repair eye gel I get this on Amazon and I use like this much of a dab on it and it goes between both of my or it goes for both my eyes so just pat it on any eye product that you use you always just want to pat it on because that part of your skin is extremely delicate next I'm going to use my Derma E evenly radiant brightening day cream with the SPF of 15 I actually like this. It doesn't smell too much like a um, sunblock, but it has a funky, creamy texture, but I actually like it. I really like those products because they are, let's see, I know they are cruelty free. That's my biggest thing with any products that I get. And one thing I learned is when you're putting lotion on, you want to put it in the direction like if your pores go this way you want to put it that way and then your forehead something like that put some on my neck. and that Amera eye gel kind of has its own texture so I'm gonna go over it again with some more eye cream this is deep wrinkle peptide eye cream from Derma E and one of my favorite brands that I like they're not cheap because like this guy was about 18 bucks um, the other one had it been under definitely under $20 so I'm doing the same thing again just little dabs and it's summertime so it's like really hot and my hands get so sweaty it's gonna do some color corrector so I'm gonna use my concealer twins from Physicians Formula I love this do this this way there we go To hide some of the red that I have on my face from my acne. I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger. So I get something like this. And then next, I am going to use my Bobbi Brown Moisture Rich Foundation with SPF 15 and Warm Sand. I got this on eBay a while back. And I don't think they are organic or um, cruelty free but this was before I started making sure my products were cruelty free so I'm not letting it go to waste and I'm just doing something like this warming it up on my hand and then I'm just gonna spread it evenly on my face so here I go Do -do -do. Just let that bake for a minute. So I'm using Christopher, Christopher Drummond Beauty Duo Phase Hydrating Concealer in the light color. And I'm just doing like that size because when it first came out of my on my finger, it looked yucky. So I'm just gonna put that um, in places that need it, like the spots I have a little extra red in under my eyes. Just blending it in. Applying it so I can look like a ghost. <laughs> okay, so I remember the name. So Christopher Drummond merged and they're now at Hint. I was thinking the word lift. But next I'm going to put my velvet foundation um, in the color of light. I'm going to put 
this finishing power. It's Finale, same again. I'm Christopher Drummond. And it's just a white light powder that you put on. I'm just gonna put it in there. <laughs> the lights are going nutty on me. Because of, whoa, you're a ghost. Yes. Okay. So there's that. So there's my foundation. Next, I'm going to put my blush, and I do have the right brush. So from BS Mall, and I have to label my brushes because I'm still not familiar with which brush goes to what. So I'm using my Intense uh, Blush Squad City Color. I'm gonna use this um, color right here, and it is actually cruelty-free. It has a little bunny on the back. Yeah, the bunny's happy right there, yay! So I love stuff that's cruelty free. I, I got this product on eBay. And big smile. I'm gonna start here, and then work my way to the And I just kinda line my, go over where I would normally contour with the remainder of the blush, but not too much because you don't want to be too red. Just a little, just a little color so you're not too pale. So something like that, the blush. The other big part of this is eyebrows. And I was really lucky I got this at Ulta. It's called Sweet Shimmer. And it's a mini, mini palette that has three different colors in it. I actually use a combination of those two colors there. And this, I'm gonna use this brush here. I don't, I think my friend gave this to me 100 years ago and it works amazing. And I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. And I totally forgot to brush my eyebrows too. Let's see, you can see a significant difference from filling that one into that one. So I'll just continue the other. So this is my typical everyday look that I use when I make videos. Because um, I'm honestly running out of time when I get off of work and stuff. But another thing I like to add if I have a little bit of time is some mascara and lipstick. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you with a little dab of mascara. I'm using Organic Wear um, Black Organics, and I love this brush. It's this kind of brush where it goes all the different directions. I'm just going to put that on my eyelashes. So there's my eyelashes with mascara on it, and then. I always put on the lovely Carmex, just open and apply. And then that just brings my color back out. And I actually use, if I have again time for lipstick or something, I love this. It's Pacifica Natural Minerals Power Love um, Nudie Red. So that's what it looks like. I actually got it from my Beautycon box for the spring. And that's what it looks like later. Are you in focus? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna put that on. So. Huge difference. Now that I'm done, let me put my glasses on. So there's my finished look and as you can see because I'm wearing glasses I really don't have to do too much makeup on my eyelids so if this is a everyday look that's just easy to do you really your main thing is just foundation cheeks and eyebrows lips and mascara are optional so I hope this um, tutorial was a little bit helpful. This is what I normally do when I do my normal videos. Stay tuned because as always I will have more videos. I want to thank you all for watching. Bye everybody!